when you're dealing with a guest artist who is 12 years old, it is impossible not to introduce the parents and the teacher of this violinist. And I wanted to do that for you this evening. We have Valerie and Luba Ugorski out here, the parents of Eugene. Could you stand for us, please? And also teacher Vesna Grootman. because she is pianist. She started to teach Eugene piano when he was, um, I think, four years old. I just really, 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 really wanted him to play violin. And uh, the friend of mine, because he had the, this, this instrument, this small, tiny violin, he gave it to me. And in that moment, uh, Eugene was very small, so I just brought it to him, to home, and since first moment Eugene uh, observed the, the, this violin, he just grabbed it, he just took it, to, and he told us, listen, it's mine, I will, I will never give it to you again, so it's mine, that's it. And Vesna started to, to teach Eugene violin. So I remember first lesson uh, was around maybe, I am not exaggerating, I think it was around eight hours. And uh, I think Vesna, even Vesna was a little bit tired and Eugene, Eugene was ready to, to, to do more. I remember when Eugene was six years old, when we just started, I would give him probably three hour lessons every day because they lived in my house. But the unique thing about Eugene, he had incredible ability to concentrate. He could endure all my demands and everything I asked of him. His attention was incredible. Something you, you cannot expect of a six year old child. And his determination was incredible. His love for music. Eugene like, like loves music so much that he, instead of asking for toys as a child, he asks his parents to, to buy him um, CDs, and he had every CD in existence of violin music. He, he knows every piece of violin music, and piano for that matter, by memory. Um, unique combination of determination and, and talent. It's very important to have um, uh, good teachers. So even even with extremely uh, with so much talent, uh, sometimes you can't grow up. So, but uh, this is a very good combination: wonderful teacher and very talented kid. Indeed, it's important to to have life outside the music, which is very difficult because uh, hours and hours of practice, hours of hard work. It, it's hardly there is hardly time to to be to be growing as a normal human being. So this balance is very important. One has to read a lot, uh, educate, parents have to educate the child very well in, in the school so he can, he has something to say with his music. It, to be, uh, to have a personality, to, to, to have rich insight, to be able to say, um, in incredibly profound things that music requires. What I think is important for prodigies is to remember that the world is very big and to try to include as much of it in their experience as possible. Of course, somebody very driven to know all the music ever written, to play it better than anyone else and so on, may, may really not be motivated to experience much else, but 
I think that's where teachers, that's where parents should really help and not let uh, young people who have a great gift in one area uh, block themselves off from all the rest of the things the world has to offer because those things equally are will enrich a performer's uh, art. <laughs> The, the Ravel Tigain, it, it, um, it's, a, it's a piece filled with crazy passages and arpeggios and uh, a lot of difficult techniques, uh, pizzicato and, uh, you know, you got to pluck the string. Um, and also, of course, it has a, a musical side, too, like any other piece. Yeah, so, and it's really fun to play in front of an audience. It is equally important to, to work on, on both aspects. As a teacher, I have to make sure that, that, that he equally uh, progresses technically as musically. Because uh, often technical skills uh, supersede the, the mu musicality and ability to say something for a young child. Uh, so I have to be very careful to balance this off and, and make sure that his maturity is good enough to, to suit his technique. It's a hard work, and to produce a musician like this, it requires combination of things. It requires nurturing at home, determination of parents, dedication and sacrifice. It, it, it requires incredible sacrifice from a teacher, and of course, child's desire and determination to, to do the best, uh, and love for music. And he genuinely loves the music. And this is what, the combination of all those things is what is necessary to produce uh, a great artist. who perform here are not necessarily artists that many other people have heard of. These are people that we have heard of and in whose abilities to see music from new perspectives we depend. We want those talents. We want to boost them to the degree that we can and we hope other people will join us in letting us bring these talents to light 
outside the box of the usual world of the large city dominated music organizational structure.